Okay. I'm going through. All right, so this says five amps max, 343 volts max. And as it goes up. It's trying to draw four amps at a 326 volt output. And it does so at 57% duty cycle. I think my breaker is going to trip now. Okay, breaker trapped. Let's uh, put it on 220. Okay, we're now running charger on a 98 cell battery, 343 volt CV, and it's ramping up to 30 amps. And the output voltage is 332 volts at 30 amps. This is exactly 10 kilowatts. So let's uh, let it run for a few minutes. See what happens. You can see that the um, output current fluctuates around 30 amps uh, as the charger tries to keep uh, the current around 30. And the temperature is going to go up slowly. 28C right now. You can see the amp hour meter going in. 0.5 amp hours, runtime 1 minute. Everything works great. The duty cycle 90% or 89.5, close to 90. We're gonna wait for uh, about 5 minutes and then we're gonna switch on again. Putting in pause now the camera, not the charger. We are now at 10 minutes, temperature stabilized at 33C, still outputting about 10 kilowatts, 5 amp hours in, let's go look at the uh, gauges in the car. This is the EMW dashboard in the car that's being charged right now, you can see 31 amps going in, 328 volts on the battery, slightly lower voltage because of the voltage drop in the cable at 30 amps uh, a couple of volts there so it's charging 68 percent is current or 68 amp hour is the current state of charge of the battery and let's see if it turns into 69 anytime soon the current shows negative which means it is charging And I'm going to use this opportunity to just uh, plug our uh, EMW dashboard, uh, which is, um, I think, is a pretty sweet piece of software and hardware. Um, shows you all the parameters that you want to know about in your car. Amps, power, volts, charge, temperature, um, fuel economy, this little gauge here is the MPGE gauge on top. It actually shows you what your effective miles per gallon is based on the uh, watt hours per mile. Our watt hours per mile right now is about 461, which is not very good, but this is due to the driving style of this car. We um, usually try to smoke everybody from every stop, so that is not very good for your uh, fuel economy. Okay, so this particular uh, dashboard is operating off on the um, uh, Motorola Zoom. It's a 10 inch dashboard. Okay, so now we have 69 amp hours remaining. As you can see, so we've just added, while we were talking, we've just added one amp hour at 10 kilowatts. All right, let's go back and assemble the charger. So now we have a fully assembled box. Again, ramping up to 30 amps. Pull down a little bit, so heat sink temperature is back to 20 now. Well, 
Okay, we ramped up to 30 amps, 333 volts, which pretty much means that um, we're at 10 kilowatts. Okay, let's now try and increase the current, the output. So the way we do it, we would pause the charger now, press this button, charger stopped, press same button to exit, we exit, charging complete, press right button to run again, press the right button, we can take power, we say 41 amps. Okay, good. Let's run. Well, it doesn't let me go over 32 amps because the limit is 12 kilowatts. Too bad. It calculates the limit as 32 amps times CV voltage, which is 343, and this will be 12 kilowatts. Well, so nothing super interesting here then. Let's just wait. Or maybe, uh, okay, we're at 70% state of charge, so let's wait for half an hour and come back. We're at 24C, we just started. 25. Temperature is rising, 10 kilowatts going through. No, actually 32 amps times 33. That's more like 11 kilowatts right now. So let's uh, come back in 30 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes of 12 kilowatt output. Well, 11. There's 36 C. Good sink temperature, 5 amp hours out, getting back in 20. Okay, everything seems to be pretty stable. We are at 91.4% duty cycle, about 32 amps, about 340 volts output, which is very close to 12 kilowatts. And the temperature is 36C, round time 42 minutes, 22.3 amp hours into the battery, and again, this is a 343 volt CV battery. So this is about um, 6 or 7 kilowatt hours into the battery so far, in 43 minutes. As you can see, the charge is doing pretty well, just 36 degrees Celsius on the heatsink. Let's look at the inductors now. So here's the other side of the charger. Let's measure the temperature of the inductors. Okay, the PFC inductor is at 57C after 40 minutes. 54... pretty much at all the places below 60C. The output inductor is at about 40C. 40C. Considering that the um, heatsink temperature is 36C and the air that goes into inductors have has passed heatsink and is probably around 36 C. The fact that the um, inductors are at 36 and 55 C are actually quite remarkable. So we're at 47 minutes now. We're getting closer and closer to the CV voltage, which is 343 volts. Now, uh, 
uh, just cycling back and forth between 35C and 36C on the heat sink temperature, 25 amp hours in so far in uh, just under 50 minutes. So let's see how the charger trips into the CV mode. So 343 volts now, 32 amps. There you go. The charger goes into type 2, which is a CV mode. Okay, ramping back up. The voltage came down a little bit. 333 volts. 35 40 So what you can see here is that the charger stopped ramping at 341 volts and it's now going to ramp down the uh, current slowly so that the voltage does not go beyond 343 volts. So we're now at 27 amps or so. And you can see how fast the heat sink temperature is dropping. It was just 36C, now it's 33C. And 26 amp hours and the battery so far. Check the accuracy of the voltage readouts by the charger. Always a good idea initially as you're tuning things to check these things. Okay, so we're saying we're at 341 according to the charger. We're actually at 340 volts right now. So one volt or about 0.3% error right now which is perfectly fine and it's in the uh, good direction so the charger thinks that there is uh, one volt more voltage out there than it really is so it will not damage our battery okay we're down at 23 amps it's just tracking the um, amperage down until it hits 5 amps and stays there for um, some small amount of time and then it will stop charging altogether. 26.6 amp hours into the battery so far. So we are at 10 amps right now, 342 volts, uh, things are pretty calm, 25C on the hit sink, pretty much ambient, 28.6 uh, into the battery, and we are at 1 hour run time. So we're ramping down on the uh, CV plateau. 
nine six. The um, current is going down naturally as we keep the voltage um, at the CV level. So we're now getting close to five amps, and the duty started to ramp down. So eighty eight eight, eighty eight six. Uh, we'll go down because uh, by this point uh, at this low current the uh, charger or the PFC stage is in discontinuous mode and the output stage is in discontinuous mode which means that uh, the duty will have to ramp down quite a bit. The um, uh, typical relationship between the voltage and the duty cycle no longer holds so the charger needs to ramp down as you can see here the voltage is now measured at 344 which is one volt higher than the CV so the charger is trying to ramp down as fast as it can now at 5 amps which is the CV cutoff amperage and we're going below 5 so the charger should cut off any moment now and here it is 29 amp hours in charging complete now let's see what's happening with the voltage off the battery Here's the voltage of the battery right now. It's going down, 336. So as you can see, it's settling in on a uh, resting voltage, which for this battery is going to be around 323-324 volts, or about 3.3 volts per cell. So this completes our charger build video, and we now have a completely usable 12 kilowatt charger from EMW. Stay tuned for new exciting developments in the charging systems world. This can be yours as a kit for about $1,300 and as a complete unit for about $2,300. Check out our um, website and web store for more details and other exciting products. Thank you very much. And we are now at 100% charge at 332 volts, according to the EMW dashboard.